In today's video, we'll be checking out a game that you can play free this weekend. It's one of the PlayStation 4's free-to-play weekends, and it's of a game that got a mixed reception at launch, but since its launch, it's gotten a lot better. But I know a lot of you guys have not gone back and checked it out. Well, now you can check it out for free during this weekend, so you'll definitely want to take advantage of that. On top of that, two of the better games this generation have been Wolfenstein The New Order, as well as Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, and Bethesda's Pete Hines has confirmed that Wolfenstein 3 is in development, and it'll be happening at some point. Also, Marvel Spider-Man released last week, and unfortunately, some people were uploading videos of the game's ending, and a lot of people were getting directly spoiled. Thankfully, YouTube is blocking the ending of Marvel Spider-Man worldwide, so a lot of the videos are being taken down. So that is great to hear, and personally, coming from somebody that had the ending of the game spoiled to them, I'm very happy to hear that. On top of that, we've got PlayStation 4 System Software Update 6.0, and 6.0 is a huge number, usually with one of these new numerical numbers once you get 5.0, 5.5, 6.0. It's usually a sizable update. Well, with system software update 6.0, it's just a standard update, but it is out right now, so I want to take a look at that. On top of that, tomorrow, GameStop will be running an absolutely enormous sale. It is their biggest sale of the year with the Pro Day sale. Now, you do have to be a pro member to take advantage of the sale. I believe it's $15 a year. You get a couple of benefits, and if you shop at GameStop often, it's worthwhile to keep your pro subscription intact. And better yet, you can take advantage of of this sale and there are some absolutely ridiculous deals that I want to go over. We don't even have all of the deals available. We just have some of the preview deals and those are looking very, very good. So more on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk about the free to play weekend on PlayStation 4. You will be able to check out the division absolutely free. Ubisoft has been running a lot of free to play weekends. I believe they did For Honor. They did Rainbow Six Siege a couple times. And now we also have the division running its free to play weekend. And this is a couple months before the release of the division two. So I thing to get gamers back and enamored with the division experience once again with this free to play weekend it's a very timely thing to do and as i mentioned while this game did have a mixed response at launch it has gotten a lot better that seems to be the ubisoft mo recently games like rainbow six siege games like for honor ghost recon wildlands while they didn't have the greatest launches they have become better and better experiences and that's what we have with the division as well make sure you check it out especially if you've never given the division a go it was one of the highly anticipated games of this generation but it did release pretty early on i believe it was a 2015 title so a lot of you guys probably picked up your playstation 4 later than that if you want to go back and check out the division it'll be absolutely free this weekend for you to play of course after the weekend you will lose access to the game but at the very least you can get a taste of what the division offers i just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves captain we are the wolves Moving on from that, I've talked very highly about Wolfenstein The New Order and Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. The New Colossus got a little bit zany towards the end. However, if you want quality single-player first-person shooters, they are very good games and offer very gruesome and visceral gameplay. And it has been confirmed that a Wolfenstein 3 is in development. This came directly from Pete Hines in an interview with Metro, and here's what he said. Quote, yeah, sure, absolutely, we're making a Wolfenstein 3. They said on stage that they are taking a break from the larger story to do this thing, but we all have to see how that ends. Remember that Machine Games is very busy right now. They're working on Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot, which is a PlayStation VR title. Bethesda has been very active with PSVR. Of course, we've had Skyrim, we had Doom VR, and now we have Wolfenstein making the transition to VR as well and that's not the only thing they're working on they are also working on wolfenstein youngblood a cooperative wolfenstein experience so it'll be very interesting to see how that turns out of course the first wolfenstein also had a standalone expansion with wolfenstein the old blood so we're getting something similar with youngblood and with a little bit of a twist with the co-op play Moving on from that, I am still busy playing Marvel Spider-Man. I'm not done with the game because I have been busy doing all the side activities and going for the Platinum Trophy. However, I was very disappointed to see that a lot of videos of Marvel Spider-Man's ending has been uploaded, and the issue was people were directly putting spoilers in the thumbnail, so personally speaking, I had the ending of this game spoiled to me. Not entirely, but you get the idea. That's something very unfortunate to happen, and if you're gonna upload the entire ending of Marvel Spider-Man, well, at the very least, don't put the ending on the thumbnail. I was never gonna click on that video but just scrolling through related videos and by the way it was just a recommended video i wasn't even watching a gaming related video and then i got hit with marvel spider-man ending so that was really disappointing and i'm sure a lot of you guys have been hit with something similar well youtube is actually starting to block the ending of marvel spider-man worldwide that's being done by their algorithm and their algorithm does some 
sometimes leave a lot to be desired. However, right now, them blocking the ending is absolutely A-OK -okay with me because I do not want anyone else to get this game spoiled. However, this isn't something done directly by Insomniac Games. They actually tweeted out, quote, we are aware of that. We don't have anything to do with those claims, but are trying to figure out what's going on. So it sounds like this is some sort of miscommunication. All I ask is this game does have a pretty crazy ending. I would like it to be a spoiler-free experience. So by all means, upload a video of the ending, but at least keep the thumbnail spoiler-free. That would be great. And while I've already been spoiled, there's a lot of other gamers that haven't been spoiled yet, so at least do them justice and let them enjoy the game on their own. Moving on from that, the PlayStation 4 has just gotten its brand new system software, Update 6.0. However, it doesn't really do much. The system update is just 447 megabytes, and all we got as an update is, is, quote, this system software update improves system performance. So really nothing at all, and that's very surprising because, again, with these numerical updates, a 5.0 update, a 5.5 update, a 6.0 update, you usually get some sizable updates of very big features. A lot of people thought with the 6.0 update, we would finally get PSN name changes. Of course, that didn't come to fruition. But yes, the update is available right now. I did hear that some people were having issues downloading this update, but it seems like Sony is aware of that and they are working on remedying that issue. At this point, I believe that is fixed. I had no trouble downloading the update, so I imagine it should be good for everyone else. But there you go. Update 6.0 does improve system performance. And lastly, I do want to take a look at GameStop's Pro Day sale. This is their biggest sale of the year. I would say it's usually a little bit ahead of their Black Friday sale. And there are some early deals that they are showing off. They're not going live until tomorrow, Saturday, September 15th. And you do have to be a GameStop Pro Rewards member. Again, I believe it's $15 a year. You get a lot of incentives, especially if you are a consistent GameStop patron. It is worthwhile to keep a $15 subscription. And even if you don't, if you just take advantage of some of these deals, your money will come right back around. God of War is $20 off. It is down to $40, I believe. I believe that's the best physical deal I've seen on God of War during a PlayStation Store sale. It was down to like 35 But as far as a retail and physical deal, I believe that is the best deal I've seen. Grand Theft Auto 5 will be down to $20. Detroit Become Human will be down to $40. The Surge is down to a measly $10. That beats out the PlayStation Store price by quite a bit. Persona 5 is down to $30. Middle Earth Shadow of War is down to just $10. That's an awesome deal. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition is the regular $20. You can find it for that price all the time but it's absolutely worth it for that price. Kingdom Come Deliverance is hitting $35, which is quite a good price for that. Mafia 3 is down to $15. Assassin's Creed Origins will be down to $25. Great price on that. Looks like it is coming down from that $30 price point. Banner Saga Trilogy Bonus Edition is available for $30. That's $10 off. It includes all three Banner Saga games, some cool collectibles. That is definitely worth it. Banner Saga is a criminally underrated franchise, and I always like to go to bat for that. Burnout Paradise will be down to $15. Dark Souls Remastered will be $30. Dead Cells, the physical copy of that, will be $20. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection will be $25. That is absolutely insane. So many hours of gameplay for your money. As far as bang for your buck, that's one of the best deals you're ever gonna find. Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition will be down to $30. Quite good on that. Dragon's Crown Pro will be down to $25. It looks like that game recently had its retail price slashed down to $30. Probably the price it should have been released at. And now you can get it for even a little bit cheaper for $25, so definitely worth it. Fallout for game of the year edition is $25. That's quite good. And there are a ton more deals on top of that. So if you have a pro subscription or you just want to take advantage of these deals, maybe signing up for a $15 subscription will be worth it considering some of these deals are so good. Again, it's a one day sale only and it'll be going live tomorrow. So if you see any deals that interest you, you have a short window to take advantage. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, The Division is free for the weekend, so you can try that game out. Wolfenstein 3 is, in fact, in development. YouTube is blocking the ending of Marvel Spider-Man worldwide. I'm happy that gamers aren't getting spoiled, but at the same time, they need to get their algorithm in check because this isn't being done by Insomniac, so who knows why it's happening. PlayStation 4 system software update 6.0 is out. Doesn't do much outside of improving system performance, and GameStop is running their massive Pro Day sale tomorrow. A lot of great deals as a part of that. That's going to conclude this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below thank you for watching and goodbye this video is sponsored by the fine folk over at scd keys on this channel we're always talking about saving money and getting great deals and that's what you can do by picking up a 50 dollars playstation store card from scd keys if you head over to their website link is down below and search for a 50 dollars playstation store card you'll find it go ahead and add it to your card and use our specialized promo code gc3 to save three percent on your order that'll bring the cost of the card down to 46 dollars and 64 cents you can check out and choose your method of payment your key will show up on your account and boom 
something just like that, you got a $50 PSN card a little bit cheaper. Not only do they have great deals on PlayStation Store credit, they also have Windows 10 and other software heavily discounted, and you can get great deals on those as well. Again, check out the link to SCD keys in the description box below.